Last week, Rance finally put an end to a four-month, 16-game wait for a win in Ligue 1, but faced a different kind of test as they welcomed Saint-Étienne to start August alone on Sunday. Never are unbeaten in 2013 so far, having picked up seven wins and a draw in all competitions. They would have been looking to keep their superb runner form going in this contest between two of France's most decorated clubs. Meanwhile, there were no shortage of Saint-Étienne supporters in the stands, having made the 500km trip north to Champagne. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has returned to form in recent weeks and he was at the origin and conclusion of Saint-Étienne's first real chance, after Francois Clair looked to cross in from the right. Kossi Agassa with a comfortable save nevertheless. Then in the 10th minute, Gregor Krakowiak miscontrolled the ball and Johan Molo slipped through to Aubameyang. Agassa looked to have made the save only for Mohamed Fofana to deflect the ball back into Aubameyang's path. A simple finish for the Gabonese international for his fourth goal in four consecutive games. He's now up to 12 for the season overall. True, he did have a bit of a helping hand for this one. Rance looked to hit back, particularly from set pieces. Johan Ramaray sent in a free kick in the 16th minute and Odoyer Fortes picked up the loose ball, firing in a low shot which Stefan Ruffier got down well to gather. Ramaray at work again here, 10 minutes later, and this time Gaetan Corte got on the end of it, but couldn't get the better of a well-placed Ruffier. 1-0 and advantage Saint-Étienne at half-time. Rance continued to up the tempo in the second half, with Krikoviak bursting forward and getting to the byline. He found Kamal Gilas and marked at the back post, but the Algerian saw his attempt bounce out off the crossbar. A superb ball in from the Polish international, and Gilas should have done better. Into the 73rd minute and yet another Ramaray corner. This time Krikoviak got his head to it twice, but Jonathan Breezen was perfectly placed to clear off the line. Hubert Fournier urging on his troops, who were effectively laying siege to the Saint-Étienne area. Finally, in the 76th minute, they made the all-important breakthrough as Corte thrashed in from inside the box. Rance's sustained pressure finally paying off and Corte, their top goalscorer by some way, firing in his eighth of the season. Delight for Kossi Agassa, who kept Saint-Étienne out on a number of occasions, and ultimately a fair result. One all, the final score.